Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm Sirius JG. Next play session, man. I gotta break out the lyrics to one of those songs from Fallout New Vegas. Like, you know, Stars in the Midnight Ranges or something. <laughs> because my only attempt during this session to start singing was Roundabout, which was kind of a joke. Let's see. Last time, Sean got killed, and then I almost killed my PS4 because of one of those things where... Second time it's happened in the series, I rescued a prisoner and then didn't holster my gun before it was time to talk to them, which meant that I made them hostile and screwed it all up, and I hadn't saved, and fuck. But we're not dwelling on that anymore, now we are moving on to what can we do about Sean's death. Can we get revenge on the Greys? I guess we can't, really. We killed Sheriff Grey. Um, I don't think we killed the head of the Grey household, who we only met briefly when he sent us to steal horses from the Braithwaites and promised us a bunch of money that we should have believed, we should have known was a bunch of bullshit. Um, but as of now, I guess it's still possible we can we can become soldiers working for the Braithwaites. Maybe they don't know we betrayed them. I guess we'll find out. Maybe we can still get that Confederate gold. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? Uh. Where's my goddamn son? Where oh, is he? Fuck. Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything... How would they know where, where he was or who he was? Chandling? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will oh, fuck your brains so out. Apparently I was a whore. Right Am I a whore? I'm not sure. We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Oh, I guess Micah and Kieran don't get to be part of the rescue mission. Okay, let's go get that boy back. You know who'd be really good on this mission? Sean. Oh, Lenny. Okay, for some reason I thought that was Abigail. You think? We just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Sean will have his time. Ah, uh, fucking no, he won't. I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Particularly Jack. Try to stay warm. How did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back, and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. This whole thing was a complete waste of time. Hidden somewhere, no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. For Christ's sake, Hosea! After all that, another perfect. Yeah, stand. it was basically a big waste they of time. They underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There's no point arguing how we got here. Or analyzing the faults in the story and how it never made sense for us to have gotten ourselves here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. That's a great, uh, that's a great thing to say. Have a, have a character say that at any point in the story you've written when the story doesn't okay, make any fucking sense. Oh, fuck that, man. I know this is going to be a shoot em up mission for sure. Sure, in this one. All right, everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. Okay. 
Got a repeater. Uh, hold up. Got more ammo in that repeater. Got a lot more ammo in the repeater. The shotgun. Yeah, I think I got enough ammo in the rifle that we can use the rifle. But I like the idea of having the shotgun around too. We're gonna have a shotgun Saturday night. Uses shells, we got 120 shells. And the carbine repeater, replace that with uh, the rifle. Got my guns. Oh, come on, game! The gang was abandoned. Well, fuck you. Because I went to actually select a weapon. So fucking stupid. I get it. I'm trying. Fine. Alright, fine. I guess I don't get to select my weapons. Because my chance to do that was during the ride, and I didn't do it then. And there's like I said, I'm fine. I never liked Kid anyway. Follow my lead. Besides, I know we're getting them back, otherwise it's a temporal paradox. Ruin us? I don't think so. Homie, don't play that. Uh, I don't know how many guards they got, but this is a bad scene for them. I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. I throw so many knives. I need you to stay calm. You just got done saying who steals a boy. Oh well. Well, they're trying to get into cool badass storytelling mode. I need to like give them credit here. This is pretty cool. And it turns out they didn't kidnap the boy. We're just mistaken. Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. We know he's the one who plans your capers. That's not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. It is more important in the South than not murdering children. Is people aren't allowed on your land. <laughs> if you ain't gonna be civilized about this. See, this is why I wanted the other rifle. This thing's got, like, no stopping power. Arthur, player character, I should say, do whatever you want. that I'm pressing the wrong button here if only I had that button that uh shoots sticky bombs why am I not firing why am I not firing I just started pressing random buttons because I stopped being able to fire which is why I suddenly rolled like an idiot I guess I'm not gonna get a lot of looting done on this one Woman. 
So your badass move of uh, kicking down the door was the end of you Jack! being effective, huh? Jack, can you hear me? Guess not. Wonder if there's anything good to loot. Well, there's cigarettes. This might be the only time we're ever allowed in this big ass house. <laughs> so I just skip like a. I was trying to steal, but okay. This is marked as something I can interact with, game. What's the fucking problem? Put the gun away and try to steal. Oh, whatever, Jesus Christ! Apparently, I know I do not know anything about how to control this game. I'm surprised I'm able to move from one room to another successfully. Oh, I have a pistol out, even though I thought I had armed a uh, rifle. Maybe now I can, uh... Nope. Fine. Well, don't know what was going on in those rooms. Guess I'd... I hope nothing real important was in these rooms, because I apparently am not empowered to, uh, search them. Whatever those are, we don't get to steal them. That you are allowed to interact with, unlike everything else. How do I change fucking weapons? Jesus Christ, you press and hold the button, it all goes to shit. I think I need to finish this mission and then stop playing this game for a while because I'm really getting frustrated by switch weapons, press L1. Note, you have to lightly tap it. If you press it, it actually takes you up to a completely different menu. Oh, and by the way, you can't interact with a bunch of stuff that the game says you can interact with. Maybe I need to lightly tap it. Maybe when I was trying to grab those other things, it was a problem that I didn't lightly tap it. Fresh and fresh. Got a headshot there.
here. Oh, I guess Javier is upset. First of all, let's loot a bunch of guards. Till the game tells me I got game over. I can't see a goddamn thing. I reckon it might give as soon as the player character gets over here. Powerful forearms of a catfish. Did you find another way? Oh, I have to find another way in. I got you. Hold on, let me do some chow. Then I'll talk to you. Okay, so I think we're looking for a back door way in here. A little chaw and a cigar, cigar and... One, two, three, go. You're out, says me! Oh. Okay, I fucked that all up, but... Either John saved me or my first shot finally did go through. I was gonna raise him as my own! I should have killed you when I clearly had the chance before. You really have, haven't you? You are that old. Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Come and see. The Garo tap. Where is the boy? You filth. I can tell you're filth because of your concern for a small boy. Uh -oh. Did you just shoot her foot or something? Well, it's just getting real here. <laughs> I gotta say. Maybe they had nothing to do with it. It's possible. Oh, what am I supposed to be doing here? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. I never got to loot that room. <laughs> Join you all on the dramatic shot in just one moment. Let me, okay, never mind. I'm not allowed to loot. I never liked you. Well, well that's you fair enough. You stole Boys my are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mister Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Dave Matthews. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either oh. there or oh, on the boat no. to Italy. Let's go. Where they're gonna make him into sausage. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> was she Nobunaga? She's gonna turn around and walk dramatically into the flames of history? Alright, well, shit, I figured we'd get to rescue the boy, but I guess that's the next chapter. Because if we've made enemies of both families, and kind of eliminated most members of both families, I 
Don't know what there's left to do in Rhodes. Tony. Tony, no. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now. I don't understand. It's like you're talking another language. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. You know the boy's fine, because if he's not, it's a temporal paradox. And then we'll have Colonel Campbell calling us up to tell us that it's game over. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. Well, right, I John. don't know about that. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. We made a stand for, for the American value of stealing from we other get people. That boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Trust me, what are you, Jake Visitors, the Snake? A solution. Good day, fine people. Well, I thought Vandalin. the whole point was they're here to get Dutch. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. There's, There's no way I'll be involved in your Agent, death. Agent Moron. I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. But so this kill is all not savages long. Only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity. Okay, one of them basic is Basic decency part native, was outmoded so. or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only... Says the guy who turned two families against his own gang trying to steal a non-existent gold. Kill whom you please and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker. Mr. Milton, you ain't much of anything. I'm trying to find the golden Mr. snitch. Vandalin. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love? It really feels like a that fine. like just a big excuse to make all these speeches happen, even though it doesn't make sense in story terms. Just you. In that case, it'll be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. Oh, jeez. I have okay. an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. Me. How awful for us, Mr. Milton. Stop following us. We'll be gone soon. This reminds me of so many real-life famous situations where a lawman walked into a gang full of thieves and had a series of speeches back and forth, which ended with him leaving alive. Great, great historical precedents for this kind of thing. Meanwhile, Javier's back there like, I can't believe this shit. Ugh, I hope I just don't spend the whole next game going puto all the time. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. 50 big All men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. <gasps> you called him boy. That's the closest they're allowed to what get now? to, but the real we'll racial epithet that would have occurred there was. And quick. Many ideas. I know a big old house hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, go I thought I was Arthur. Fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. 
and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing. Abigail, where are you Come during on, all this? This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot off. Yeah, we know. What? I mean, Follow me. I know the way. There's a little hotel called the Shady Bell by the junction. But... And I'm riding right towards the lake. Fuck. Alright, so I'm supposed to be going the other way. Oh, actually, I'm not that far off the track, but... Where are we going, and should I make the next video about getting there? I should probably make the next video about getting there. Alright, folks, so, in this video, um... Bad people kidnap the little boy. Although, in fairness, they're bad people that we had been screwing. Uh, and although... The game doesn't really explain... Like, how did they find our hideout? I mean, assuming the boy wasn't allowed to wander around in town by himself, where he was talking about how, I hang out with this gang of murderers who've been betraying the Braithwaites all this time. Like, presumably, they, they kidnapped him from our camp, but didn't take out the rest of us? Like, none of this makes a lot of sense. And then they cap it off with um, a scene where, so that they can get in some, some cool speeches... Uh, we have the Pinkertons walk right into our camp, tell us, we're going to let you surrender, but not like you are surrounded with 50 men, but I'm going to come back later at some unknown time with 50 men. The Pinkerton boss even tells us that we should run. So, as has happened with the last couple of Rockstar games, they do a really good job with having like cinematic storytelling. Uh, compared to pretty much every other studio that's out there. But the stories don't follow any kind of traditional plot logic. I think, like, Rockstar is trying to invent a new plot logic for interactive video games, but no. Like, any Western where that happened, the critics would be shitting all over how nonsensical it was. Maybe I'm in the wrong mood to be playing this game today, because it was all very well acted and well, quote, directed. I know it's not like actually cameras in front of physical actors, but all very well presented. None of the story makes any sense. We'll see the next nonsensical segment of story next time. Thanks for watching.